Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I'm going to show you how to create a forest like this using procedural foliage volumes. And as you can see in this demonstration, uh, I have imported some tree models and a rock model like this and some dead trees so altogether we have three different variation of the same tree and this rock and of course I have changed my grass mesh as well but that is uh, not relevant to the subject that we are talking today so right let's get started I'll put this project aside so this is the project we currently have already have and this one uh, first time first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this uh, ugly looking grass so here I'll quickly do that before starting with procedural foliage I'll use this one instead and uh, for this part I'll use 3 to 3 to 3 and align it with surface right okay the grass is fixed now then we can start with procedural foliage volume the first thing is I have to enable procedural foliage in here in experimental and tick this procedural foliage then after that you can see this procedural foliage volume here so I'll put it put one like put a volume here and maybe I'll put it somewhere here or here okay it doesn't matter actually where I put it I'm going to make it so large and I'll set this brush size to something like this no, that's not going to be enough this that also I don't think it would be enough okay anyway I'll put another zero here right uh, that's too much it will take forever to build this okay this is enough and I'll do the same thing for this one as well well this doesn't have to be so much high like this right uh, it fine okay right right now I have completed setting up the procedure foliage volume and the next thing is I need to define uh, procedural foliage spawner this one I'll call it PFS and here we can add, add foliage types so in order to add foliage types we need to create foliage types first so I'll search my trees tree models like this and I'll select this one and Uh, okay, and uh, if I go here and if I drag and drop this one like this 
and it will automatically create a foliage type for me so as you can see this is the foliage type I'll go here and let's start with one so let's quickly change some settings here okay I need this I don't need this to be aligned to normal because the trees should stay straight otherwise it doesn't look natural and here I'll keep them as default values and here as well maybe I could change this uh, average spread distance to something like 500 because this uh, large trees doesn't grow like bushes in near distance I'll set the spread variance to something like 1000 and I'll leave everything as default right now that I have created this volume this foliage type I can add this one here like this now I'll go to my procedural foliage volume and set this PFS I just created and I can simulate it here okay right we got too many trees and that's this is too much actually so one thing I can do to reduce that is I can define the ground slope angle that these trees going to grow I'll set this as uh, 20 to 25 right now I'll go here and re-simulate yeah this is much better okay and actually this already start to feel like a forest so I think my lights are a little too harsh I'll reduce this a little bit and you know, I'll keep them let's worry about that later them later so yeah and I'll add a uh, height fog so that we can get this uh, little fog there right now we have one type of foliage so I'll create another type of foliage I'll this is the one we just created and for that I'll use this dead tree I'll rename it for convenience and put it here and for this one I'll set the ground angle to 18 sorry 18 to 22 so that uh, let's see and I'll assign not this one this one here then I'll Re, re simulate this PFS volume. Okay, so we got this uh, dead trees here and there, like this. And but I think these dead trees are too much compared to the other trees, so I'll reduce this uh, number of steps here I'll set it to 2 
so it will reduce the number of dead trees present in this level okay right so in the same way I'll create I'll create this uh, procedural foliage types for the rock and other trees for so I don't think I have to show you all the uh, to do all those making all those foliage types so I'll go ahead offline I'll stop recording and do it and resume okay as you can see I have created all these foliage types for rock and these two dead trees and these uh, live trees so I'll uh, open my PFS and add them here this one and this one and this one and this one and this one right now I'll go here and re-simulate okay so all done and now you can see my forest is ready so this is the final result so but is i still feel like i need a uh, little more live trees so i'll quickly go here and fix it okay 28 so that this range is increased that we allow this type of tree to be grown okay I'll select this and re-simulate all right so now we got a little more trees so yeah and that's it for this video and in the next video I I actually haven't thought about what to do there and let's see so see you in the next video goodbye